We're at Art Night, City Hall, Pasadena, California. Pasadena is a really unique location. It has so many important cultural attractions as well as academic institutions in such a small geographical space. I just love it. I love to see people happy about things that are going on in Pasadena. The free shuttles will take you anywhere and it's just a night to really appreciate your city. You know, parking is difficult in any major city, and that's true here too. If you want to drive from one venue to another, you're going to have a hard time finding a place to put your car. You can get on a bus or you can walk to a whole bunch of different places and have a great time. I've done it for the past six years. It's twice a year, so times two. <laughs> so 12 times? Yeah, so I keep coming back, so something must be good about it. So the Norton Simon Museum has been participating in Art Night since its inception in uh, 1999. As one of the prominent museums in Pasadena, it was a great opportunity for us to collaborate with other art institutions. People enjoy getting on a bus with people that they might not normally come in contact with going to organizations or places that they might not ever think about or might not have access to for whatever reason. I just think the energy is what makes Art Night fun. This is our second time being involved in Art Night. The reason I like Art Night is because it's such a community event. It gets a lot of people here who ordinarily wouldn't come to the gallery, especially off-ramp. I think people drive by it, they don't know what it is. We have a band, Unpoppable. The show that we have here is Susan Cerrone. She's mainly known for doing cut books, which are quite amazing sculptural pieces that she alters a book. She saves all the leftover pieces when she cuts a book, and she does things like make this timeline collage. This sandbox is made from cut pieces uh, that are left over from the books. She cuts them into little strips, and then with scissors cuts them into little pieces. It's uh, hundreds of hours worth of work in the sandbox. And the whole show is about the passage of time, um, hence the name Forget Me Not. So this year we put our brains together and developed the concept of sensory overload. So we didn't want people to just go look at art, but we really wanted them to truly engage in art. And usually when you go to some museums, it's a very independent experience. You go look at art and you leave. But um, if you walk around, you see that this is, people are truly getting their hands dirty, they're getting into art, and um, they're going through all the different senses. Art Night started years ago to have the arts community be able to kind of show its wares off to itself and for everybody to be able to freely visit all of the different institutions and nonprofit arts organizations and things that were going in town so that people would come back to build audience and profile the city as a world class city for the arts. What's up, Pasadena? Thank you for supporting art and those who make it. This is the music stop on the tour. Welcome Phantom to the stage. On the birthday night, 
I ain't afraid of using the club tracks to drop The signs like my pops, boy, I ride until I'm dropping I'm always down the rise, running high if you're not Cause if the time comes, they better be down to bust shots Five coming from the rubber, double C from the clock Hurry, hurry, prepare to be amazing sock Can't reclaim your admission if your jaws don't drop Cause I'm a hundred on a guarantee for making them rock Take it back to 83 and yeah, I'll be the short shot Not a rock but I'm bitches when I turn them blood clots Who be hating that they're the monster takes a lot how many times do people like walk to art spaces like just that? We're trying to create a city that has a kind of quality of life and kind of health standard to which walking and bicycling and doing kind of human powered things is really important. So it was, I've noticed that a lot of people said they walked here. I think in a sense, Art Night is like a community without walls. And it's, and it, and it's a chance for people to, see, you see people of every economic strata every experience or not with the arts and every age and that's the thing about it it's kind of it's kind of like democratizing the arts one day at art night twice a year and they're enjoying themselves and staying we're probably gonna we won't even be able to get rid of them we're gonna what are we gonna do yeah. Focus your attention, but y'all don't care. Let's play the hit. Stop the skip so you can sit there and let it slip. And